Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our uh, it's not Automatron, our Nuka World DLC playthrough of Fallout 4. It's episode number 10. I don't know why I got Automatron stuck in my head. It was only 10 episodes long. We're here. Uh, we're here outside of the Galactic Zone, one of the new regions of the uh, Nuka World Park that we haven't that we haven't explored yet. I'll be honest with you guys. I've been having a lot of thoughts about this game. Today's a new recording session. Um, I'm going to record a couple episodes real quick this morning. I've been having some conflicting thoughts this morning. Or, or sorry, the last couple days uh, before it was time to record today. Um, and I'll kind of walk you through those while I, while, I, while I explore a little bit here, okay? So we have extra dead bodies from the traders, I think, from... That fight we were learning about last time. So here's the debate that I'm having. I think it was the last episode. One of these episodes we discovered that there is a quest where you just kill the leaders of all three of the... Uh... Oh god. That body looks bad. You kill the leaders of all three of the uh, factions and supposedly that makes uh, everything fine. It like it like gets rid of the raider factions and you can have a, a free world here where where no raiders exist and it's just like free people. Been shot at. Oh, hi. One second. Alright, got that one. So, I have been... I was kind of originally pretty attracted to that idea. I'll be honest with you. I was pretty attracted to the idea. Maybe I just kill all of them. You alright, bro? Bro, you alright? I can imagine the physics on these things are all funky with all those antennas. Um... Way. So I was pretty attracted to that idea. So attracted to the idea, partially, and, and, I'll, and I'll walk you through why. I think I was so attracted to that idea because I really don't love the idea of working with all these different factions. They, I'm not like, I don't see myself in any of them. I'm not. Uh, my idea of who I am in this game is is not exactly like doesn't line up very well with who those people are. All of the factions, and I'm I'm like really troubled by that. I don't know what to do. You're what? Did you say? Was that cod swap? Sounded like a Mr. Handy. Welcome to the Galactic Zone, by the way. Uh, Attention, parents. We still have. I and I almost. This is how close I was. I almost. You can pick them up at the end. You can call it dark. I was so in love with that idea, but here's the thing. I'm worried that that wouldn't actually work, and I was so interested in that idea though that I almost googled that quest to see if it would work and then I caught myself and I was like what are you doing no the whole the whole reason I'm playing this game and the reason I'm playing it the way I am is to do it mostly blind you know if I learn anything it's just a couple comments uh, from people on YouTube but I, the whole point here is that I don't know what I'm doing I'm gonna react as I am and just probably make some mistakes some honest mistakes uh, and and do what I do the best that I can, and that'll be it. You know. Can you tell like this game is giving me whole existential crises. Can you tell? Uh, all of which is to say. Now where do I go from here? That this quest: hunt down and kill Mason, hunt down and kill William, Mags, and Nisha. I'm taking it off the table for at least right now. I don't think it's the play, and here's why. I don't think it's that those people don't deserve to die. I've killed a lot. Uh, was I not supposed to shoot you? I've killed a lot. I've killed so many raiders. I've killed I've killed people probably in my playthrough of Fallout 4 so far who are better, quote unquote, than those people. But I think I have to give it an honest to God try. Hello? Oh. Are you Are you putting me on Are you catching me on fire? What is that? Here, I have an idea. Take one of those. <laughs> uh, 
Anyways, that's the whole conclusion I've come to. Uh, I'm taking it off the table, and and the reason I'm doing it is because I don't think it's how I want to play the game. I may someday activate the ride. Yes, please. This is weird. These are these are Nucatron machines made into into robots, attack robots. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, we just leveled up. So anyways, that's how I'm doing today. I, this game has obviously apparently affected me quite a bit because I keep just like, I just keep thinking about it. I just keep thinking about it. I don't think our play is going to be to just show up, assassinate the three leaders and, and try and make the place peaceful from that. I don't think that it would actually work that easily. If it did, I still got to take it off the table because I'm not that kind of dude. I'm a cold... You know, I'm not a cold-blooded murderer who goes out and kills people. If they're going to try and kill me, then I'll kill them. I'll defend myself. I don't know. I'm saying this, and also, I killed so many. I killed so many. Uh, so many people. <laughs> in the base game and in different things uh, that don't fit this description of my, of my ethics. But, hey, whatever. You just got to, you know... I feel comfortable with the decision I've made, even if it isn't uh, completely... Even if it isn't completely sound. Why is the, the ride turned on? Let me try it again. Anyways, uh, that's how we're starting this episode, apparently. Oh, the main power's out. I can turn the power on and then do it. Okay. Well, the interstellar theater. Let's go in here. So our main quest for the day, I'm going to set all of the politics of this game aside. The Nisha, the, the operator pack disciples aside. And for just a little bit, I'm just going to explore the galactic zone. That's what we're going to do for this episode. I don't want to. I don't want to remember that I have these big, tough decisions ahead of me. What I want to do is just explore, explore this for a second. You know. Oh shit! There's stuff going on in there. Okay, I'll get. I'll be there in just a second. Intruder. Oh shit. Identify yourself. Alert. Oh, buddy. Alright, we're gonna check another one in there. Oh! A star tender? Dude, I'm out of freaking. I'm out of freaking. I just took a screenshot. I'm out of uh, grenades. Take that one and put that one on that. Great. Yeah? Did I freeze it? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Alright, we reload, then we chuck a nade. Chuck a nade? God. I think I got him. I think I got him. Oh, I hope that I hope that got him. That body just flew at me. That was really cool. This is really interesting. Coming on the other side of Automatron, we're seeing just crazy left hand space auto laser. Oh, it's a robot thing. Okay. I was getting ready to say, we're seeing all this automatron, uh, automatron mod stuff. Okay. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Shoot it. It's hard to see. That was really hard to see. All right. All kinds of stuff over here. What's this do? Dark ore. Let's see what's on the big screen. To menace the earth. It was said, comes an abomination. Something to menace the earth. Oh no, not the girl in the bathing suit. And attack.
out of the mist and slime. Of a time before the history of man. Something like that. I'm trying to read. I'm trying to read. Something from the depths of the ocean. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now it's, now it's looping. Alright. Okay, there's a big catwalk up there. There's something up here. Easy. This is cool. You sit in the you sit in the things. Watch the movie. Pretty cool. Oh hi. The Galactron Usher. That's cool. So here's the thing about the big, uh, the big, like, ethical reveal that I just, uh, I just talked about at the beginning of the show. All of that can be true, that I don't think that the solution is just to kill all three of them, assassinate all three of them. And here's the problem. I still don't know what the F I'm gonna do. Also, these plungers, man. You can use them like a little bit of a ramp. Uh, okay, pork and beans. Uh, that's the Weezer song, Pork and Beans. Um, Toolcase. Like, I still have no idea what I'm going to do. And, and <clears throat> again, I just said I was going to set aside the politics of the situation. But, like, nice. that's what I'm calling the, the political uh, situation is the, like, who do I, who do I ally myself with? Who do I trust? I said I was going to set it aside, but I just can't stop thinking about it because I don't know what to do. Well, I, I have to have faith. That we'll figure it out eventually, you know? What are these star cores? I don't know. It's also weird. I can just barely hear the screaming from the, the audio. <laughs> like, they're like, ah, the monsters come to get me. When I'm walking around the rest of the place, in the background, there's just this very low. Alright, so I think that might be it. I don't know how to get up. Oh, I didn't go this way. Okay. Maybe this way I'll have. Oh, elevators. That's right. That's right. I. How could I forget? Even near here drinking glass. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Dude, I'll tell you this. Since I lowered my sensitivity, ooh. Shots feel way more under control. Advanced locked door. Yes, please. Yes. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. What are you doing? I didn't even see that one. Jesus, I am taking a lot of damage, though. That was a very, that was like a very upgraded, uh, it was a very upgraded, uh, uh, laser turret there. I felt like it was, it was very good. Alright, cool. Figured that out. Let's get out of here. Ooh, a safe. I wonder, I was thinking the other day, uh, I just, I was one of those, like, kind of, you're sitting on the toilet poop, poop questions that comes to mind. Please tell me you also have those. That's it. Or you're just sitting there and, and something will randomly enter your mind and then you can't stop thinking about it. What I was thinking was, I wonder how many safes I have missed during my... Going down. During all of my time playing Fallout 4. Main floor. And then I began to cry. No, I'm just kidding. I, then I began floor. to like... I was pretty sad at the thought that it's probably not a Going number lower than down. 10. It's probably not a, a, a lumber... Upper level. A number lower than like... 20. I don't know. I mean, I probably have missed quite a few. And I love safes so much. There's just such a basic and, and great satisfaction from looting a safe that you had to unlock yourself. And from noticing it in the first place, because half the time, you know, they're not super noticeable. They're not like broadcasting their presence. 
Okay, I think this is almost all of it. Go this way. Drink a cola wild. So I've noticed all these different. I also saw a comment about it, but I've, I've been noticing all these different uh, flavors of of Nuka Cola. Let's check. Where's this Going one go? Down. Does this one also go up? Main floor. Going we'll see. Up. Uh, I've been noticing all these different flavors. Cool, I'm gonna try and get one of each, I think, and, and see how many there are. I don't know how many there are. Oh, projection. Oh, this way. Powering up. Oh, shit. Easy. I got a head start on him. There's the screaming. Kinda scary. Nuka Grape. What do we got in the projection booth terminal? Uh, theater program schedule. The Halloween's coming up. Sci-fi horror madness month. I'll say this: this is great timing for us because fall is is, is here now. Uh, when this is being recorded and, and being released. So, the beast with the trillion eyes, death comes singing, chartreuse slime, slimining. Yikes! Nuka monster, Adam Bun. Chartreuse, slime to slime to die, grog. The chartreuse slime three slime doesn't pay. Night of the fish man's revenge. The chartreuse slime four war slimes. Armageddon no Rama. Oh my god. Oh, wrong button. Um. Memo from management. I want all you lazy jerks to get off your butts and clean the theater after each and every showing. I came into the theater this morning. Several of the rocket pods were filled with trash, empty Nuka Cola bottles, and who knows what else. If any of you notice star the star tender breaking glasses again, let me Oh, it was a bartender. I now I just now put that together. Star tender, bartender, gotcha. Ever since the geniuses running the park decided to have a robot with no hands mixing drinks. Also don't get it angry. Alright. Cool. I wonder if this takes us to like the roof or something. Here we go. Got Sweet it. spot. All right. Starcore. Starcore. Hardcore. Parkour. All right. The uh, roof? Nope. Just I. How did I miss this? I don't know, but I did miss it. Wow. Mm, okay. Seems like the quickest way to get out of here. All right, done, done and dusted. It looks like the size of these things, I'm going to be spending a couple episodes on each of the parks. Um, so buckle in. It's going to be a couple days of galactic zone. It seems like, Hey, which is great for me. Let's be honest. I'm so stressed by the, <laughs> by the decision I have looming ahead of me that, uh, what we got going on here is is more my style. Um, we'll we'll just do some exploring and see if there's a story around this park, and then we can come back to the. What am I gonna do about Nisha? The Nisha problem, you know? What am I gonna do about Nisha? I don't trust her at all. I also don't want to kill her. I mean, unless she tries to kill me, and then in case in that case, uh, rip in pieces Nisha, you know? Okay, uh, let's go up one of these things. See what goes up. Uh, what, what's going on up here? A bench. Ooh, almost. Okay, got another one. Where are you? Exit there. What did? What was that? What was just said? Somebody said some shit. Who said what? It sounded like almost like a. Uh, again, like a cod swallow blind. Is it just that this? There's a Mr. Handy around here somewhere saying. Saying stuff. 
Uh, hey, speaking of safes, look right there. All right. Let's see what's in the safe. Yes. Good stuff. All right. Dude, okay, uh, there's a reason mannequins don't move in the real world. Fuck that noise. That's creepy. Jesus Christ, fuck that noise. Um, alright. In the cash register. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Discovered Starport Nuka. Is that where I am right now? I don't know what that means. I don't know. Let's go through here, though. Dang it. Mm. Oh my god. Alright, this is barely left. That's it. You sleeping or are you dead? Oh yeah, these are all dead. Okay, um, holy ammo, recoil, compensated, calibrated, powerful combat shotgun. That's a, a lot of words, I'll be honest with you. A lot of freaking words. Uh, okay. Got stuck on that. Please go up. There we go. Okay. So what is this place? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's Mr. Frothy making all those lines. Okay. Instead of a Mr. Handy. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I can see that. Okay, I'm having a thought here. I'm having a thought. Can you be on the side of the... Tr on, the on the side of the traitors? Oh, I don't need this to be happening. But there's all these traders here, and there's workbenches, and maybe I can eventually just become on the side of the traders, and I can get rid of all three. Oh, Jesus. Am I going to find, like... Is there a side? Is there a way to be on the on the side of the of the people? I would... I would love for that to be the, the case. Please tell me that's the case. Please tell me I can be on the side of the traders. Armor workbench. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I think it might be possible. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I don't know where that is coming from. This place is such a maze. Holy God. Okay, uh... I don't know what that is, but that looks cool. Alright, let's go in there. If we can. <clears throat> what was trying to shoot at me just now? I think that's where we started, then we went that way. We did all that, we came up here. Yeah? Maybe? Can I have your arm armor, please? Your power armor, please. What is this place? Oh my god, how many star cores is this gonna take? There's three. I don't know how many I got. Four? All I got's four. Five, six, so seven, much. eight. Nine, ten. There after all. 11, 12, oh my Jesus. What? There's one. Also a body. I should probably care about the body. What is the star, the star core thing? I mean, I guess we'll learn here in a second when I read this. Oh, this, back to the usual day, tedium. This, uh, this thing.
What are you? Nothing. Okay. All right, let's read this and, and learn. Also, I have more star cores. There you go. That's all I got. All right. Let's learn what this is. Systemized telemetry for automated robot control. Star. Systemized telemetry. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of things here. <clears throat> Insufficient star cores to assert control over linked robotic systems. Emergency operations mode may provide limited functionality. So this is to control all the different robots. Okay, out of 20, you gotta have, you gotta have 20 more, 15 more star cores for basic operations, 25 for full functionality, okay? Okay, hold up, that's a lot. Uh, let's do this. Um, view system logs, sure. Operating instructions. The systemized telemetry, the star control system developed by Robeco, our friends, this is a complete solution for corporate clients needing to administer a large number of robots and defensive systems. Built on a series of highly redundant interchangeable telemetry modules. At runtime, these cores establish a radio communications interlink between the star control mainframe and the linked robotic systems, allowing the mainframe to coordinate their actions and issue commands irrespective of their underlying operating protocols. Individual star cores may be safely replaced during main normal operation. Emergency mode. Uh, all robots and defenses will continue to act on the prior operating instructions. As cores are replaced, a series of emergency protocols will be progressively unlocked as computing resources permit. Okay. Okay. So basically, we'll, we'll go, we'll do this in stages. Okay. Uh, technician's log in 2077. Finished the install job for the new mainframe. Got fired up for a test run. Um... It doesn't work well with the older model handies we've got working concessions. That's probably the Mr. Frosty. Oh, they're probably just hitting me with, like, burning Nuka-Cola. That's probably what they're shooting at me. He's, like, piping hot Nuka-Cola. Pretty fucking terrible, really. Um, when you think about it. Uh, I'm still glad we went with their bid from the, over the one from General Atomics. Their director system is a mess. Single point of failure and all. Oh, General Atomics. Okay. Um... Okay, it's been almost a month. Star Control is still working perfectly. This never happens. Big install jobs like this are always a disaster. We've got military-grade robots running around with live weapons. This seems like an accident waiting to happen, but so far it's worked as advertised. If there is a major, major emergency of some kind, we flip the system into defensive mode, use the robots to secure the park. There's no real way to test it. Let's just hope it never comes to that. Uh, okay. Mainframe tours have been a big hit. Lucky us. First, we lose our workspace to that ridiculous diorama, and now we have to babysit a bunch of snotty six-year-olds who can't resist pushing all the big glowy buttons. We're going to start integrating the robots at the junkyard into the system this weekend. I'm not sure if Star Control's interlink will work at that range, but it's worth a shot. This thing keeps surprising me. This seems bad. Uh, it took us three days, but we finally broke through. The this is a whole other person seven years later. It took us three days after the, uh, the bombs. Three days, but we finally broke through the rubble around the north gate. Walked right in. No turrets, no combat bots, nothing. Only robot I had to put down was that damned Nukatron that kept trying to sell me a $10 bottle of Nuka Cherry. Stupid thing wouldn't even take caps. This is the real prize, though. Top of the line, pre-war tech, still humming along. My girl Tiana says these glowy things are redundant, which I guess means we can take them. Ought to fetch a good price back in town. Shit. They stole all of them. Two years later, Coulter's gangs took Nuka Town. We got survivors incoming. I had the boys throw up some defenses, but they ain't gonna last us long. I told Tiana to turn on that defensive mode she told me about. She panicked, said we've taken too many cores from this thing. It couldn't handle the reboot. Sent everyone she could find to go strip cores from the other rides. The girl means well, but with the gangs breathing down her necks, I gotta do something. What's the worst that could happen? What the worst that could happen is, apparently, all of the robots killed the people who were here. Beastie. Glad that's done with. Wow. They thought they were were setting up a defense, and instead they got Trojan horse from the inside, kind of. 
All right, we're going to have to call that an episode here. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked any part of this episode, I would really appreciate a like on the video. Otherwise, we've got more Nuka World coming at you tomorrow. Same time, same place. I can't wait to find more Star Cores. I can't wait to get this figured out. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.